So, the group started in the forest. Hades and Bai ended up going to the forest. Everyone eventually joined up together. And Lux headed back to the library telling everyone that, hey, you gotta make your way out. <laughs> Got the information. And then they started heading towards the main town, which is, I should probably actually remember at least the name. I should spell it. That's the town. That's the town's name. No, what are you typing, Aiden? What are you doing? But yes, basically, you guys came across this crazy troll who disabled your critical magic <laughs> powers. And yes. Everyone basically decided that yes, they were going to infiltrate the library. And on the way, they found a pool which leads to the sort of area where they fought, like the moon, sort of the crazy moon guys, and all the portals appeared and they got washed into the water plane. Still don't remember the name of that town. Doubt I ever will. <laughs> I'll, come, I'll come up with it eventually. We just call it the moon town. And everyone else now heading off to the library that spent seven uh, days preparing, and it's time for them to start infiltrating. Okay, AKA, we've been spending seven days of sleep. Mm hmm. And what is everyone doing? Considering uh, Alaris is not here. No, that's the tricky part. We cannot. The plan A is our best chance, and he's not here. Plan B is a 2% chance. <laughs> Well, listen, I could also teleport away. It's more like a 6% chance, okay? That's only the chance of rolling it at 20. There is, not, better, not, there is not good enough nowhere near. <laughs> DM uh, rolls the dice and gets an 11. Yeah, unlikely. Mm, yeah, I mean, if all goes wrong, I can fly you out. For a couple of seconds. Well, listen, I could always stab myself so that I don't have the crystal. Worst comes to worst, you know? Mm -hmm. And I just throw meteors at them for like a second. For a Can time. we just assume that Alaris, the character, helps us out <laughs> and use his bird? That was his plan, after all. Need the bloody bird. <laughs> that was his plan, DM. He as a character wanted that. <laughs> but yeah, Listen, feel, free feel free to come up with a plan and enact that plan. I shall be waiting. And remember, you've got Bai as well to help you out. Oh yes, the like you paladin. That will totally help out in a stealth mission. Yeah, no. Listen, they can ask their god to give to make the other dudes blind. Like stab at their eyes or something, I don't know. <laughs> listen, I am... listen, I could always disguise myself as a two percent chance as a potted plant. <laughs> <laughs> so there's an eight percent chance of somewhat success then. <laughs> yes. Or I could just cast fly on possibly on me. It's it's like a one in seven chance, but this is you know. What it's like what a, actual like spells do you have cards. besides your wild magic? Uh, well, I could slap them. <laughs> <laughs> but utility spells are mainly just what spells can I use for murder? Ah, uh, I mean, I guess I mean okay. But fucking, we can't. Even, we don't even know where the meeting is. We need Alaris for that. His damn bird. Yeah, true. We do need Alaris for that bit. Okay. Hmm. So we are nearing the meeting time, right, DM? Uh, yeah, are you we? guys are nearing the meeting time. Like, All right, I then I'll... You guys, you guys probably would have woken up early, just so that you can, if you need to, you can sneak in. So let's yeah, yeah. I... I think, uh, yeah, I so, we're, so we still have time to find the place. I have a plus six persuasion. <laughs> I mean, if things go wrong, you can do that. <laughs> I can try. Okay, wait. Okay, or so we're still, it's still in the morning, right? 
so we have time to scout. Yeah, you guys got uh, you, you guys are currently in the morning. It's okay. Really early. Sun's just rising. Hmm. Mm. Then we should scout out first and see what if there is like an obvious place for a meeting. Yeah, maybe there's like a room okay. with a bunch of chairs or something. Yes. Then let's do that. Okay, I will. Where's the highest intelligence? <laughs> Did you and me? Uh, let's see. I'm. I feel it will be you since uh, I only have a plus one. What about you? So do I. <laughs> All right. Well, do you want me to add. Uh, do you want me to give you advantage on intelligence checks? Now you just you can just assist me. Don't need to wait any spell slots. True, true. Yeah, I'll assist you. All right, then I'll try and find an obvious place for a meeting, or like a a place for a meeting. Are you guys sneaking into the library to try and make sure the librarian doesn't notice? Yeah, we don't want to wake up the librarian since I feel like he wouldn't like us being there. Hmm. I mean, the librarian. You just I, mute. I mute myself. Yeah, the librarian technically doesn't really care un- about anything unless we are loud. The only thing the only thing librarian is care about is privacy and being loud. Besides so, privacy. Yeah. So I'm, I don't think to he'll find a place to But I mean privacy on her on, on the librarian said. Like even I mean if we even if we try, as long as the librarian don't help, I don't think she will mind. I mean, it's not like she's gonna yeah. tell us anything. Yeah. Anyway, uh, would you want? I mean, uh, we can try and stealth. Yeah, I suppose. Wonder? Okay, then, then I will try and stealth. Yeah. And find out the place with luck. Okay, not so bad. That's an eighteen for stealth. An 18, you get up and you start heading into the library and you sneak over behind a bookshelf to begin with. So from what you can see, the sort of entrance consists of a very long corridor, two bookshelves on either side. At the very front, you've got the librarian's desk and the librarian's just sitting there tapping on this very magical looking device. And there's All a bunch right. of books floating up this uh, sort of center. And there's several chairs around a little nooks and crannies, but most of them are in plain view. There's also the shelves, which, as you look up, uh, they seem to stretch onto infinity. Hmm. And behind the librarian, you have the sort of staircase that goes to one of the other sections, like where you guys found like some of the more ancient texts. You had to the left was the corridor that he'd head down to all the family trees and stuff. To the right, you had the very creaky corridor with the very odd book at the very end. And then further back, uh, back you've got all the older parts of the library, the chandeliers, it's a lot creakier further in, the further in you get. Everything's more well-maintained near the front. Mm. What would be a good meeting? Is there like any tables or chairs? I remember there was like a table where I read at one point. Okay. Uh, who has a high perception? Uh, I got a plus four. I have a plus zero, so yeah. Um, that is um twenty-two. Okay, with well, a twenty-two, you do notice like at some of the window, there's like these little sections where you can sit down, like. There's like all different places dotted around, like up like some of the little stacks of bookshelves, like there's little areas where you can sit and read. There's a bunch Mm. of different places around the library as far as you have noticed. But is there like a like a round table of some sort? Is there like one round table that would fit everybody? Yeah, that would like six, seven people, maybe? Um in terms of round tables or you something close? The past little library you guys have been to, you have not seen such a table. Hmm. And you guys have definitely not explored the majority of the library. So that implies... So... 
We don't have enough time in all honesty. We still are on time limit. Would we have mm-hmm. enough time to search the entire library for a spot? You could very, uh, you could try. Mm. I mean, yeah, if we divide it by the two of us, maybe. Yeah, let's do that. And All should right. we both be stealthing? Yes, because we should test the, also with the librarian and also with the clicking. We don't want to get caught making noise. Yeah. Um. So I'm going to explore up. Yep, I'm going to investigate with and stealth. Yep, and you start, you guys start investigating the library. And as you reach behind one of the bookshelves, you suddenly see the Sazas librarian perk up and start looking and scanning in your guys' direction. What do you guys So think? the librarian can detect when we move books. Hmm. Um. I would I, I I would say I cast minor illusion on myself to try and hide me, but also like don't want to risk it going wild. Can't really do anything. Can I find a place to hide? You're gonna try and hide from her guys. Um, wait. Is there any like tall book yeah, stacks or something? Like the area around you guys. And um, what the guys do... are slowly reaching towards you. Um, what do we do? Okay, no, no, no. I'm going to try and pretend to read a book. Well, not pretend. I'm I'm actually reading a book, but you know, I'm just reading. Yeah. Is there any like whole book stacks I could hide behind? Um, I will, I will tell you this sort of area you guys can look at. So there's a table in the very back. There's a couple book st- uh, stacks, but they're fairly small you've got a ladder a ladder and a little bit further away there seems to be a bookshelf that you could hide behind mm, i'm not sure if i can make it in time or not very fast you know what i'm also gonna just pick up the nearest book to me and start reading it okay. since that's the best plan of action here yeah and you see her gaze to sort of look over you two who are uh, I would assume either sitting at the table or sitting on the floor reading. I am sitting oh. on the floor. I'm on a table. Yeah, you guys are sitting in some various ways, and the librarian's gaze passes over you before it drops down. And you can see the rest of the group, a uh, group who are not here, so I would just be playing them for a bit, just dart over to some more hiding spots. <laughs> Who can you play a larv with a familiar that can scatter? <laughs> nah, I'm not gonna use a familiar for you because <laughs> I've, I've, I've perhaps that I might accidentally kill the familiar. I mean, it's not like you can die permanently. Yeah, you just yeah. need money to cast it back. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But I don't want to be responsible for a poor Laris familiar dying to an unfortunate accident. God damn it, but we need him. <laughs> and he's not here. Mm-hmm. I'm going to tag him again. Lattice, Hades, Queen. I'm going to just, I'm going to DM him. I'm going to we are him. stalling. We are stalling as much as possible until <laughs> those motherfuckers get, get here. Oh, Lattice, got, got the familiar. Really oh, got the spell. I want you to slap me. Oh no, I don't have wild magic. We also need to slap you outside of the library, so we don't get, so we don't make sound. Yeah, true. Sure. Looks like it's just you two, and the librarian finally goes back to what they were doing as they start stacking up books and delivering them to the marginally fewer fairies. There's a fairy. Yeah, they've been fairies just helping out around the library. You guys might have not remembered when I mentioned them. No, uh, I remember. They, like, moved. They, like, put the books back. They're the, they're the book fairies. Mm. Yeah, the book fairies. And there's marginally small amounts of them. Yeah, the guy. Wait. We can ask this fairy. Information. But w- w- do they speak common? 
Go speak Sylvan. I I speak Sylvan. All right, you do that. I I speak. I speak primordial and common. That's it. Hmm. Let's stop first, then go to the ferry option. So we continue on Scotland. Yeah, you guys continue onwards. And what way? Where are you going to head within the library? Hmm. What's the direction? So you should go upstairs behind the library to the staircase right next to her. Uh, you can head down the left-hand corridor to like the rooms with all the different family trees. You can head into the sort of older and more creakier parts of the library, which is quite mm. vast. You could head in the right-hand direction, which has that very silly book in the other creaky area. Or you can head up. I feel like the creaky area is the probably where the meeting place is. Just because it seems like it'd be the worst area for it to be for us, so... Yeah, and also, the the most of the people that came in the meeting can probably fly and not make a sound. Mm, but, mm. I don't know. <laughs> I think we should go there, the last option, because we only have one strike left. Yeah. I'm going to get, I'm going to head upstairs. Yeah, I'm gonna head down like the family tree corridor, see if there's anything over there. Okay, Lux, let's start with you. You head down the family tree corridor, and of course you've got the various rooms which you can easily look into through the door windows. There's so many different family trees through here. There's plenty of names on like the doors as well. Any particular names you're looking for as you walk down here? I am looking for one without a name because that would have a that would have big chair room. Is there a place called big chair room? <laughs> um, you you're searching down and you find this little label called Dickon, but which kind of catches your eye. You're not entirely sure why, but oh guy, it's probably because that the family tree is literally just one. It's just one branch of the tree, and it's just like a whole ton of names. Sweet home Alabama! <laughs> but yeah, you've been searching for a while, and eventually you reach the end of the corridor. Alright, well, what does, Ola what does Aiden see? Aiden, you're going to attempt to sneak up to the top end. The top section. Um, is it like is it restricted access? Um, it's not really restricted. You guys have been up there before. You guys actually oh. haven't seen a restricted area yet. Um, that is, I'm not going to bother sneaking. I'm just going to read there and pretend I'm reading a book. Um, I'm like going to various book stands, opening a book, skip a couple of pages, and close it and slowly scout down the area by doing that. Yeah, and you're just quickly scouting through all the different books. And... What's your... Actually, no, roll... What's your wisdom modifier real quick? Uh, plus two. Plus two. Um, yeah, you're walking yeah. past and you see a little fairy sort of flutter by and quickly go out of view. All of fairy. Going out of view? Yeah. I would be surprised that they're preparing Wait. a little mini room. Are they hiding or going invisible? No, they're, they're just uh, floating around and they disappear behind a bookshelf. I go up to the ferry and wave. Um, I'll get you to roll athletics if you want to try and catch up this ferry. It's going mm -hmm. fairly quickly. Hmm, alright. Um, that's a 12 minus 1, so 11. What's an 11? I would say you're brushing after the ferry, and you see sort of these loose floorboards ahead of you and it quickly starts out of view completely mm. 
and you lose it. Hmm. But it's not okay. There's a loose, so it so it goes downstairs. Um, goes down yeah. down a floor. I mean. If you're searching for a little bit longer after you are looking for the fairy, you do notice there are a couple of stairs that head down to the lower floor, sort of the older part of the library. You have not seen the fairy since you lost it. Mm. All right, then, then I'll... Uh, I can't do anything about it. Then I'll just continue on scouting to see if I can find a place where a meeting, meeting spot is. You're still scouting the upper floor? Yep. Yeah, roll investigation, please. Very well. Um. Okay. Okay. Yeah, not stalling in pure and utter hope that uh, a Lara will show up. Not at all. That's an eight. With oh, an man. eight, you're looking around for quite a while and you don't see anything that could really constitute a meeting place. There are like a couple places that could. But they seem a bit too open for such a secretive meeting. Ah, uh, yeah, I think I know what's left. I'm going to meet back with Lux. Well, Lux, uh, and Aiden, you find yourselves back in the center of the library, and you guys catch eyes with each other as Aiden, you all come around the corner, and you see a couple of theories just cl uh, closing the door. And putting a closed sign on the outside. You guys have not been spotted yet. And Lux, you are behind a bookshelf between the old, uh, the older, older section of the library and the family tree section. And you see them closing the doors to the library. Wait, they're closing. They're closing the door, like the entrance. Yes. Oh, oh. And you see quite a few people have just walked outside. From the windows. Hmm. So they're meeting outside. No, no that means these are just not... normal people that you've seen around the library. So like a couple staff years. Ah. Uh, I, think, I think they either have a method to teleport here without going to the misty forest, or they the they are already here. And the meeting is about to um, take place or something. No, I, I, these don't look like the people you were talking about in the meeting. These just look like random bro book nerds. <laughs> so wait, no, let me clarify. So the door to the address of the library is closed. Yes, they are just yeah. shutting them. The theories are just shutting them and you can see oh, them no. from the windows. So yeah, they might have a way to teleport you. I mean, the queen of the Fey, the Fey Wild, is within. Is is with them. How can they not teleport here? That would be dumb if they can. Hmm. I want to cast enhance ability on myself to have advantage and stealth checks, but also I don't want to end up blowing myself up and then getting murdered by a spider. <laughs> this is How? Uh, hmm. Well, would it me punching myself? Make the spider aware of m me being here. Very likely. Uh. Hmm. Fuck. Hmm. I mean, okay. Most likely, I think that in the older sections of the library, there is a, some sort of a hidden place that barely anyone goes because they will risk the librarian getting mad. Can I look for a uh, blocked off area? No, you do not see any blocked off area. Why would they block okay. anything off? They've just shoot everyone outside, except for you two. Just in case we somebody didn't leave. We can. Okay. You can capture a Fairy, I can bring him. Fairy, <laughs> bring him to me, and then I will interrogate it. Nobody can lie to me. I have a spell that specifically says that. Is there any fairies within my general vicinity? Uh, no, 
you don't see any fairies fucking in your uh, general vicinity. They all there any you've got the two him? in front of the door, but that's right in front of the librarian, and mm. you don't see any of the other fairies. As I said, if before, only... they most of them have vanished mysteriously. Do I sense magic in the air, like odd magic? Odd magic? Mm, no, not, mm. not really. This whole place is magical. It's kind of hard to sense anything. Odd. Would detect magic? Does detect magic like show where there's stronger amounts of more amounts of magic than others? I think that's uh, no, the end it shows where there is magic. Fuck. Cause yeah, I was about to say if that's the case, then I could cast detect magic and maybe look for like. Areas with, regis- with residual extreme amounts of magic, but, yeah, but in the, 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 would, yeah. my entire vision, I would say, would basically just become magical. <laughs> Pretty much. It is the Feywild. Everything is magic. Hmm. I mean, uh, fuck. Do we really gonna risk going to the picky place? I think that's the only place possible, right? It's really no other choices there. <laughs> Uh, I'm trying to see my list of spells, see if I can find anything. I didn't even, uh, I should have taken Astral Existence. But that doesn't have anything to do with sound, so... I need help. more murder, my, I need more non-murder spells. You're like the opposite of Laris. Laris need murder spells, you need the opposite. I need less. <laughs> you kill very easily. The issue is that I can't do anything else. <laughs> um... Fuck, I mean, I don't... This is really risky. I mean, if and if we want to scout, I think only... Uh, should the two of us scout and risk to the chance? But... We can't really kill any more time waiting for a lot of can we? <laughs> <laughs> nope. Uh, mm-hmm. Yes. I mean, then... <laughs> uh, fuck, man. I always have advantage because I am, I have foresight on. But you, on the other hand, you're gonna plus. We hope we both have the same stealth. Mm, is is like watching your steps to not hit the creaky spot is a stealth check, right, Sparkle? Uh, yes. Ah, uh, Lavis is the one who has the levitation spell. God damn it! I mean, I can fly, but only for eight. Um. Fucking like forty seconds before I die. You guys come up with some creative solutions if you really wanted to. I'm currently seeing if there's like anything I could do that isn't just hoping wild magic. I get a good roll. <laughs> uh, what magic items do we have? Water breathing. My my inner illusion necklace. I have something that. Uh, uh, I have the ring of the soulless of you. No, that's with Riri. And besides, I, I would never use that anyway. It's so costly. Once you use it, you you actually lose an attunement slot forever. Or uh, at least until you cast Remove Curse. <laughs> that's a lot. Attunement slots are precious. Yeah, but it's super powerful. Nah, yeah, who needs a rewind? It's so powerful, it's killed a player before. <laughs> and a doppelganger. Exactly. Ah, uh, if we don't have any other choice, we're gonna have to count on the dice. <laughs> so, go for it, I guess, and scout. Lock. Go for it. Oh, I love it. I love it. Mm-hmm. Lux officially vanished and is now one player session. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back. He is back. Yeah, I had mm-hmm. to make my charger. Like, if you guys want to get around that self check, feel free to come up with some sort of creative idea to avoid avoid creaking anything. <laughs> I mean, okay, how to solve creaking wooden wooden planks? Let me look up Google. How to 
solve how to I mean uh well could I use my dagger <laughs> to stab into the walls of Clive the wall? Sure. Sorry, I'm trying to avoid magic as much as possible here. But, uh, Put a uh, stem uh, into the gap. Nail a piece of wood along uh the Put a wood block between the noisy joint. Hmm. Use constitution. Nope. Use. Could I get an advantage on, on my self check by distracting him? Mm, you know, by any. Do any of you have lubricant? By any check. <laughs> that would solve it. Uh, I do not. I will. If, listen, to be perfectly clear, I feel like this. Um, this. Fucking spider is for some reason like a level 20 wizard, and I don't know why, but I just do like feel like it. <laughs> Maybe that's I mean, if it was smart, the spider would be smarter. Hmm. I mean, I do have a message. Spider's to kill like a level one fighter. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I do have a method to kill the spider when it comes down to it, but it's a risky method. Method. It's called stab my. It's called stab myself so I don't have a heart anymore, and then shoot the guy with a lightning bolt. <laughs> I do have a way to instantly drop the spider health to zero, but that's, it's very conditional. That's interesting. What's the condition? Um, I have to be have two energy left, and then the spider have to finish me off at one round. If the spider loses focus and finish someone else's off, then I'll die. Hmm. Look yeah, this. No, we don't have this. We can't really do that. Uh, <laughs> we are really trying to here. This is, see, this is the issue with stealth missions. Unless you have a rogue or a familiar, you basically are down to who of us is willing to die here. <laughs> exactly. We don't have a rogue, a familiar. <laughs> We have that's why I built this around us. <laughs> yeah, but we are not the stealthy type. And Riri, Riri is the closest one to a rogue and he's not here. He might actually have a chance. Ah, uh, I have no other ways. None of us has moisture to cover the damn wooden clank. And besides, I think the Spider is probably mortal or like an ancient beast that if we kill it, we get killed by the rest of the free wild or something. You I mean, make all the assumptions of the fi spider that you would like. <laughs> well, I mean, we don't really have a choice. Do we I'm love? Very much uh, consider I am very much considering just going full on Metal Gear Solid snake box thing here and using my <laughs> television to make myself look like a box. <laughs> I mean, it would be well, funny. That is an option. It would be funny, but also I do like this character quite a bit, so. Yeah, and I have plans. <laughs> I mean, you know what? I think we should just risk it. We have no other way. I'm Do we? Do we? Uh, no, can. <laughs> uh, how much can weight hand lift? Mage Hand, let me see. Can I float with Mage Hand? Um, I think it's got a weight limit. 10 pounds. What's yeah. 10 pounds in KG? You're way, you're way heavier than 10 pounds. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, I'm only 100 pounds, you know. So if we could get 10 Mage Hands happening at once, <laughs> that, that could work, you know. Listen, I have a spell that doubles my amount of Mage Hands. <laughs> oh, miss. Oh, oh, we can do anything. I mean, let's just risk it. Yeah, I suppose. Uh, risk it for the. Actually, how about this? Only one of us goes. <laughs> you, but you're a model, you know. <laughs> God damn it, man. <laughs> I'm not a model, that's all I'm saying. Hmm. <laughs> But do you really want to face that punishment, Aiden? I mean, I have, I can be immune to damage for three rounds and escape. 
It's blood of, but, it's blood of the my bloody punishment, which is death. But once oh, I no, do I that... My punishment is death. My punishment is my character's punishment is that he no longer gets to be alive. Mm. Oh my god! What the fuck can be worse than that? Having your having your ankles bit forever by by two Aussie snakes. <laughs> you can't do anything, man. I don't want to move without a ladder, but damn it, he's the one who has to sit. <laughs> and he's yeah. not even here. Is this only? This is uh, even only a two-player session. Onto this. Are you guys gonna take for too long? Take too long. Okay, I cast enhance ability on myself. <laughs> Roll to see if it goes wild. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Fucking hell! Oh my god. <laughs> You're out. <laughs> Okay, what? let's see what happens. I'm about to die. Swear to God, man, if you get the explodey one now. I got a 41. Please let that be the one where I temporarily become invisible. Let me fucking. A plant! <laughs> I have become a potted plant. Oh. Well, actually, I'm not even. That's like probably one of the best ones I could have gotten in that situation. <laughs> yeah, I know that you just barely catch Eye of Lux as he casts Enhanced Ability and turns into a pot of plant right before your eyes. You Listen, at least I could just straight up become a giant tower of light or explode. I feel like that might have gotten me noticed, you know? Mm. Just a slight suspicion there. Mm, yeah, all I right. imagine Aiden is just kind of gaping at Lux, currently. <laughs> yep, I look at him and just wait until he turns back. Because it, it's like one round or something. It's just a minute, you know. It is just one round, so it's just six seconds, you know. Yeah, until and when he does... Back, it's normal after a little while. Hmm. It's, it's I think even... being a potted plant, Lux. He, he just mm. says underneath his breath, that is so bloody weird. It's not even that long, and it's just weird. suddenly, you see the librarian look around with a jolt. Fortunately for you, I... you are behind the sort of bookshelf, and you see the librarian get up and stop what they're doing, and starts walking towards your location, Mark. Where yep, that's it. it. I'm still thinking to the creaky, to the old place, creaky, Ooh, creaky place. I'm going full on Metal Gear Solid with this one. We got no other choice. I mean, the library is heading our direction anyway. Even fail, nope. if we do nothing, no, you, we fail. You guys are both in different areas. So, Aiden, you're still... Wait, what? You're, you're yeah, looking yeah. from where, like, basically, mm -hmm. imagine you're on the new top of the stairs, right around this little corner where the doorway is, right Wait, where but the librarian did, is. Then Lux I, is oh. over near the sort of... The family trees and other area, which I find. Okay. Uh, Wait a minute. So I'm gonna tell Did you. Unite. So opportunity to run, you sh uh, away from the librarian. I'm gonna cast minor illusion on myself. Hope it doesn't go wild and go full Metal Gear Solid with this. Okay. So what are you running to? You're running. Well, just stealth, stealth away. Yeah. Yeah. Then yeah. I'll, I'll okay, do. Okay. So you're stealthing away. I'll do the same. I'm stealthing away to the to the I'm not, old. I'm not stealthing place. away. I'm crouching down on the floor, casting minor illusion and praying to D to Jesus Christ to Jesus Christ and all the other Jesus Christ, God, Buddha, everybody else in the fucking planet, and hope and hoping that it doesn't go wild. In the middle of the road. I'm just crouching down where I currently am and turn and casting minor illusion illusion around myself to make myself look like a big pile of books. Okay, and let's see if you go wild. Um, uh, uh, yes! Woo! It was literally a cent, a, a one pixel away from from being a four, but I got an eighteen. So I caused my illusion on myself to look like a stack of books. Yeah, and you see the Sazish start heading over softly. And you, you're just sitting on the ground, crouching down, looking up at them, and they seem confused as to why there's a massive stack of books. It's just right a five foot. In the middle of this area, 
It's not that big. It's a pretty short and small pile of books. It's still only a five foot by five foot area. Yes, but there's still some books right in the middle. And Mr. Death, being a librarian and seeing these right in the middle of the library path, decides that they are going to attempt to move these books back to their early <laughs> locations. Okay, can I real quickly say that I slapped myself and cast a spell? Okay. Yeah, what, what spell are you casting? I'm casting Dancing Lights because it doesn't matter. I said I slapped myself. Okay. <laughs> Come on! Wild. It is going wild. <laughs> I've got an 8. Let's see what happens on an 8. I'm 90% sure that's the one that explodes, actually. I cast... I cast a third level fireball on myself. <laughs> 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 oh yes, thankfully I am not with you. Okay, uh, how many, da how many, what do I roll again for damage? It's, if it's fireball, 68. 68! <laughs> <laughs> right. Let me have a look, uh, let me bring up the scale real quick. And let me roll for it, because mm. I really want to roll for it. Yep, yeah, make a dexterity for a uh, saving throw, please. Uh, You'll die, man. I got a 21! Let's go! Well, okay. half damage for you. Can I real quickly say I caused meta magic? Uh, can, can I. Can, would you mind telling me what the uh, damage dice were? Uh, I think it's fire. You take 15 damage. No, I mean, like, what, did, what was the three highest numbers on those die? The three highest numbers? Five. Yeah. All five. Hmm. Okay, I'm not gonna risk it with an empowered spell. Okay, I'm just gonna take the 15 damage, be very happy, and wait for and and wait for my death as I grab out my dagger to prepare to just dig this machine out because I'm gonna die to the spider either way. And this is it. It looks at you. He's just appeared in front of it, and it goes. I told you to be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> you see its skin break open and it turns into this massive spider right in front of you. And you feel this sort of breath in your face, and I'll give you an action to decide what you're doing. I cut, a quick question. If I cut out my heart, can I be the level 18 sorcerer again? Um, you can that is basically I'm risking guaranteed death to see which how way which way do I die here? Do I die by hopefully being able to cast a lightning bolt and killing the spider, or do I die just from the spider? It's I'm dead either way here, so uh, I'm gonna cut off my heart. <laughs> oh, there goes a cat. There's your PC. Oh no! Oh no! I, I will tell you this. You've seen the spider trends. Transform from after like oh I would uh, you see the spider transform after this massive explosion occurs and mm. what are you doing within this time? Well, I uh, I leave Lux to decide what he is doing. Hmm. Does it look strong? Yes, a hundred percent, a hundred and ten percent. Interesting. All right, I will. I will. Ah, can I even be a goddamn arsonist again? I was just an arsonist. It didn't end well for me. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, wouldn't the spider have also taken 15? Uh, would the spider also have had to make a dexterity saving throw since it would be close enough to me to take the damage? Yeah. Alright, how much damage did it take? Doesn't really matter. Hmm, interesting. Oh, that means he has so much HP that it just doesn't matter. Well, I can't really do anything. And I, the problem is I need to go in two minutes for like I'm ten minutes. Uh, I got I got a couple of shit to do. Um, so in that case, I assume that you're not going to be coming back. Oh no, I will. I'm. I will go in two minutes. I will go in two minutes. Go in for ten minutes, and then I'll come back after that. Okay. In that case, I'm going to offer one last landing hand before I go. I'm going to cast 
Eldritch Blast, and I'm going to see um, a place that is easily breakable and break it with Eldritch Blast, so that so that it will cause a, a distraction and I'll stealth away. And I will cast. Um, oh no, I don't. I have only one round, right? Yeah, one. Okay, okay, yeah. Then in that case, then yeah, Eldritch Blast into like a book place to cause noise, and then I'll stealth away. Okay, where exactly are you striking from the library? Um, second floor. Wait, right no. Um, like the first floor, but quite a, quite a few away, quite a ways from Lux, and from me also. Yeah, you blast with your Eldritch Blast, and Lux, you sp- uh, see the uh, spider turn around at the north. All right. All right, I uh. Okay, let's see. What can I do here? Uh, I have some spells. Um, hmm. Alright. Okay, I'm gonna cast Firebolt and shoot it in just. Okay, I'm gonna use my action to ca- cast Firebolt in another di- direction to hopefully distract him for slightly longer. Uh, hold on a sec. Let me see if it goes wild. Going wild, let's see what happens. <laughs> I'd like to point out, I'm going to cast another spell this turn, uh, using Meta Magic 46. Please let that be the one I teleport to, please. I'm begging you, Jesus Christ, boo to everybody. 46, I cast Levitate, let's go! Ooh. And you okay. start levitating as you see the there. Sort of hear the noise from I'm crashing out all the books. And looks towards where I'm, I'm not done. I'm not done. I, I haven't. Hey, I never, said I, was done. I never said I finished my turn yet. Okay. What else are you doing? Okay. Next up, I'm going to use Quicken Spell to cut to make it so I, um, using my sorcery points to make it so that I can cast another spell this turn. Um. Where which will be another fireball, which I cast in the. Opposite direction of the Eldritch Blast. See, does it go wild? Okay, it doesn't go wild. It cast fireballs in the opposite di- in the opposite direction. Okay. And you see this this turn uh, turns towards the sound and starts rushing over to it. Alright, quick question. While I'm levitating, could I theoretically, like, use my staff to propel me forward or something? Since I'm presuming I can't touch the floor anymore. Yes. Uh, how okay. far does levitate take you? I believe it's, like, there's a limit to it. Yeah, I'm gonna real quickly check. Levitate 5e, let's see. Uh, one creature of up to 20 feet! I presume there's a ceiling where I am, right? Uh, no. What the fuck? How? You, uh, you, you're, ex- uh, you're between, like, in the middle of the corridor between the sort of, there's a bookshelf in, uh, in front of you. You can see the entrance to the old area, and you can also see the area with all the family trees. Bro, we're going full distri- we're going full on just oh, I'm just praying to Jesus Christ for a teleportation. Come on. Uh I once again have gotta cast fireballs in another random dire in a completely random direction. Hoping for a Haven't you hoping- used your Oh right, sorry. <laughs> and yeah, the Celeste has it goes over to the sound, sniffing at it, and you see all the books to fall down from where the legs sort of Climb over the wall. It it barely fits between each sort of corridor, and it starts sniffing around. And now it's your turn. It's my turn again. Mm-hmm. All right, cool. I am going to cast. Hmm. What should I cast this time? Hmm. Let's see. Quick question: With the non-magical trinket, is there any? A uh, limit as to how heavy it can be. The non-magical precipitation. With precipitation, is there any limit to, as to how heavy I can say that trinket is? Um, 
I'm actually gonna just make a look at the proof. Digitation as well. Ah, this digitation. Okay, let me have a look. Um, it must fit in your hand. So I would say anything that can fit in your hand. So taking the highest density item, the object there is, anything that can fit in your hand. Hmm. Fine. And like I was about to say, I'll just make something that's super heavy for me, so that I just get pushed down to the ground. But in order for that to do, I'd have to have a four hundred pound little thing. Oh, densest metal be in heaviest metal D and D. Hmm. Let's see how heavy is it? Densest metal material. Uh, let's see. No, that's in three point five. Hmm. Nothing I can really do, but it says that whoever casts it can can choose to push the character forward, backwards, up, or down. I'm the one who cast it. Mm -hmm. So I push myself straight back to the ground and just start running. <laughs> okay, and you hear, you see the Suzette turn your head around and start rushing after you. And which direction are you heading in? Um, I'm heading up. Heading, you're heading up the stairs where Iden has, Iden has checked? No, no, I mean I'm just going to jump into the air. You're going to jump into the air to 20 feet? Yeah, 20 feet in the air. Okay. I, Let's see the guy bloody get me there. The spider can most definitely reach you from that height. Yeah, cool. I still have my action. I'm pretty sure I still have my action, do I not? I believe so. Alright, cool. In that case, uh, I'm going to... Let's see, what could I do here? Hmm. Wish I had gust. That would be really useful in this situation. Um... Quick question, within this time, could I, like, attach, um, uh, one of my daggers to my rope and, like, throw it and just hope that it hits something and, like, I can just, or could I make, like, a lasso to I lasso one to something? First off, taking your dagger and rope out would be an item interaction, so you'll need to take your dagger out first as your first item interaction. And then second, you'll need to either mm -hmm. take your rope out as an item interaction next turn, or do this as an action, or take the rope out as an action. No, 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 so it's going to take two turns no. for you to do this. Yeah, I don't have enough. Okay, um, wish there was a spell that would give me like knockback or some that would just knock me back or something. Uh, there but... is spells with knockback. What would <laughs> I have? Would any of them be me? Would they be... Hmm. Quick question. Do I weigh anything? Yes. But currently, I'm levitating. Do I weigh anything? Just because you are levitating still means you weigh something. You you still weigh things in space, technically. You've, you've still got a weight. Yeah, but presuming I would have no weight at all because I'd be floating away. Presumably, I'd actually have a negative weight. Presumably, it would still have a weight, it's just a force of levitate is counteracting that weight. Would that mean that Mei Chan would be able to pull me? Um, mm. since it's counteracting the weight, I'm going to allow it. Alright, cool. Um, I'm going to cast Mei Chan on myself and just try to pull myself on... In just to the door. I'm just currently trying to get out of the library. You gotta try and get out of the library? Yes. On a sec, I gotta real quickly see if Mei Chan goes wild. I, I will remind you the door is the second heavy and it is locked. 
not currently. Thick, heavy, locked. Is it flat? Is it breakable? It's a uh, thick wooden. Does door. it have window? Does it have windows? No windows in the door. Is there any windows in the library at all? Yes, I have said this multiple times. Okay, I go to the. I try to get to the nearest window. Uh, the but of course, is but of course, it. In between you and the window. I'm gonna real quickly say something. Uh, it, that thing went wild, so I still have to roll to see what happens. Mm -hmm. I really should have decreased the chance. I, uh, okay, and. <laughs> Quick question How much damage does a fifth level magic missile deal? A lot. It actually, it actually does. Uh, what level is magic missile normally? Level 1, I believe. So yes. it does 3d4, and then what does level 5th? Fifth? 5th. Fifth. So that is 8d4s. Plus Wait, your modifier. 8d4 is plus my modifier. Cool. I am going to shoot a fifth level magic missile at the spider. Okay, and they go. Just like you're rapid firing into the spider. The spider just completely does not care. What the fuck? Shit. <laughs> Maybe I should just kill myself here. That was sick. Really? Even after it takes 22 damage? Yeah. That's hardly more than a witch bulk deals. How the fuck? That's a fifth level magic missile? There's a reason I I was slightly manipulating you guys with my words to make you think this thing was very dangerous. Yeah, no, I realized this thing was very dangerous. I just didn't expect to explode! <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting to maybe teleport away or become invisible, but no, the one time I didn't want it, I was the one time I exploded. Um, I, I believe you have... Have you used any of your movement except for levitating up twenty feet? No, I still have I still have all my movement technically. Uh, what are you doing? Anyhow, I'm gonna convert another two sorcery points and try to cast Mage Hand again. Okay, give it another roll. See if it goes wild. It does not go wild. I grab my Mage Hand grabs me and pushes me towards the window. Ah, uh, you do realize here is this is death. Between you and said window. Fuck, this is it. I'm getting out of here. I don't care if I'm gonna die. I'm dying either way. My best chance is that bloody window. Roll a dexterity save at this advantage, please. I don't care. I'm gonna die today. Let's see, that's a one, so the best I can do here, okay, uh, I got a 14. And with a 14, you see, like, the little spider reach up and grab you with one of its arms by the leg, and you feel yourself just kind of in its grasp, and suddenly it grips you and throws you right out the window, with a <sighs> and the window Fuck yeah! Happens. And you land a little bit further away from the library, as you just uh, you just see behind you this is it walking back to the counter, and you're left upon one HP. I am fine with this. I am not dead. This is better than I expected. This one far better than I expected. All oh, honestly, <laughs> I was expecting after that explosion to just straight up die. That thing is God. I. <laughs> uh... <laughs> That thing is God in my book. <laughs> but yeah. I'm alive. So what did you do? I have escaped. He got thrown out a window. Yeah, I, wow. got, fr I got thrown out a window <laughs> by the side. <laughs> Honestly, it went better than I expected. I'm on 1 HP, but I expected to be on no HP. Yep, and I don't want to bring you doing while Flux was busy doing this. Well, I'll use this opportunity to sneak into the damn creepy place. <laughs> yeah, I feel like it'd be more preoccupied with the magic miss, with my fifth level magic missile, me flying in the air and, f and blowing everything up. <laughs> oh yeah, the library was destroyed last time. I saw it. 
laptop, then I will use it to sneak into the place and find the meeting place. I never have to go to the library again, because I feel like if I enter that library ever, ever, ever again, the spider is going to see me, turn into a giant spider, and suck me into the floor. Yeah, I'm hiding, that's why I'm hitting for this little place. Are you trying to avoid making creeps as you do so? Of course. No, you I mean, shouldn't be trying, mate. Mate, it's going to sound like a fucking uh, nuclear bombs going off in the other room. I doubt he's going to hear a couple creaks. I mean, that is true. But then, but then, after the spider finishes throwing you out of the window, he will go to the next location of sound, which is me. Because I want to. There's think. still multiple fires going on. <laughs> <laughs> Can't help being careful. I cast like four firebolts that get in two turns. <laughs> so, I was flying during that, literally. <laughs> so, Aiden, you start sneaking through that kind of library, and you're going for quite a while. And, like, as you start getting to the sort of older part of the spectrum, like the really ancient part, you start seeing holes in the floor, which leads to dark and darkness and abyss. But even as I peer through with my true sight, there's still nothing. Mate, I'm pretty sure you don't realize. I'm pretty sure this library is just a straight up alternate dimension. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm surprised you guys didn't realize that by now. Nah, I realized that. It made perfect sense. Obviously, this place was an alternate dimension. How the fuck would it fit? <laughs> it's the yeah, and, and also, it's the fact that we can't even teleport here. Uh, Even no, with our mental mind. It's not the Feywild, it's the library! <laughs> it's the library wild. <laughs> oh wait, so that means, okay then. Good info. The Queen of the Fey can usurface it. I mean, she's still powerful, probably. Anyway, what do I see next? Wild magic is so much fun. Uh, you keep going and you you have to kind of avoid these pits now. There's several chandeliers up. And like some old, older style bookshelves. Like, if, and nothing looks particularly stable here. What are you doing? Well, I'll try to find like a hidden place or a meeting place. But more, oh, probably more hidden. No. Oh, what's, what's a unique thing we can use to roll? Uh, let's go. Just go investigation. Why not? Oh, yeah. Ah, that I think that's a double six, so six plus one, that's a seven? Yeah, seven. A seven. You're looking past here, and it's definitely getting a lot harder to sort of make your way through the library. And what did you get on your spell check? Um, I haven't rolled it. Is it If it's using my previous one, then it's 18, but if it's a new one, then I'll roll it right now. Yeah, using your new inspiration. Okay, then 18 again. Oh, and by the way, a spider, that spider took no damage from a 5th level magic missile. I'd recommend trying to avoid it at all costs. <laughs> Got it. Yeah, and you continue to that library. You, it's kind of starting to become like this sort of maze, and you have to go, sort of figure your way through. But eventually, you spot this little fae carrying this sort of red sort of sheet over one of the big pits. And it continues on. It does not mm. pay any attention to you. I try and follow it to see where it goes. Or it, yeah. It heads right over does. one of these dark pits, which encompasses like this whole section. Hmm. And then it's just throwing red sheets there? No, it's, it's, just, it's just carrying red sheets. It's just flying off into the distance. You're going to lose it if you're not using it. Wait, wait, so... Let me clarify, it's just like flying around with a red seat. Is that it? it? Seems to be flying with a purple. Hmm. Alright, yeah, then I'll try it. Then, yeah, then I'll follow it to see where it leads, where it goes. Well, here's the problem. You know the sort of dark abyss between the really rotted floor planks I was talking about earlier? Mm hmm. Uh, the place where it's heading to. Is across one of these deep ones, and it's basically this massive pit between two bookshelves. There's a couple. Can't of you fly? I can, but I'm going to. I'm going 
going to try to jump first before I will use my energy. How so, far is your jumping distance, real quick? How do I calculate it again? It's something about uh, strength. Uh, I, I forgot. I mean, if I can make it physically, then I'll guess I'll fly. But I'll want to see first. A long jump, so you can cover a number of feet up to your strength score. If you move at least 10 feet and foot immediately before the jump. So, so 10 feet? Yeah, what's plus your strength score? Minus 1. Uh, yeah, you probably cannot make it. Okay, then I'll use my wings and quickly fly over there. Yep, you bring out your wings and flutter over to the next section. And the fairy is very continuing off, and as you continue forward, you see a little light. And you see these sort of older four bookshelves around the side, like, they sort of have, like, one of these shelves on top of them with a bunch of, like, weird objects. There's, like, this old globe, and there seems to be this table in the centre with a couple candles on it. And the fairy brings out the sheets and moves the candles by sort of floating them into the air and spreads the sheet on the table. They are not paying any attention to you. Ah, so they are preparing a meeting place. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. So I am here. Hmm. Is there a place, a good place to hide in the meeting place? Ah, uh, there are a couple places you could hide. You could hide under the table itself. And Hell no. <laughs> there's some bookshelves which are fairly deep. You could try hiding behind the book themselves. Mm. Um, you could also try hiding on the very top of these little bookshelves. These are smaller bookshelves. Can you I find? Can I or you can like use perception? The bookshelves themselves. Can I use perception to find a really, really good place to hide? Like even like you know a really good place, I would say not the general one. Would reveal some different places to hide. Yeah, can I do that? Yeah, by perception. Okay. Oh, not, not bad. That's a 22. What a 22? You can see there's a chandelier a little bit further up, and you can see, like, these really old, dusty shelves just a little bit higher up in this meeting place. Like, there's a couple of art trays, and across there, there's, like, this little rim, which sort of looks over this meeting place. Um, there does seem to be some better hiding spots behind like the little globe and stuff, and maybe you could potentially get up there without alluring the fairy. And there's a couple little locations. There's another location just to the right, which you can just barely see, which is a whole heap of little objects which you could potentially hide behind. Hmm. Well, you know what they say. Nobody ever looks up. So I think I'm going to go the up, the up way, like behind the globe, you said? Yeah, do you guys yeah. want me to draw this real quick? Yes, I have little, I can barely visualize it. Well, we're going to get the up. Well, Pluck, your distraction plan somewhat worked. You did distract the librarian after all. <laughs> so, you got the big table in the middle. You got the seats. Of course, it's got the chandelier. You got the chandelier, which is kind of up here, so it's sort of circular. You've got the different bookshelves here. And this one goes over here. There's another one over here. And one there. Oh, uh, yo! There's another guy. Yeah. Yeah. Don't mind him. He's just here. And there's sort of like a little rim that goes across here, and like you've got these little archways, which sort of here. So that, that's the good hiding place that they were mentioned, the little rim. I didn't mention it was good, I just said it was mm. a good hiding spot. And you've got these bookshelves, which are sort of like, they're on each, each sort of corner. You're roughly here, beside, behind the wall here, and there's a couple bookshelves on the side. So which one, here. so which and hiding place is that here? And on each top of the bookshelf, you've got like couple items like the globe. Oh, the okay. Top. And there's like so with... items here. And right here, there is like one of those old fireplaces. Ah, 
Oke. Hmm. Okay. Which um which is the is the upper upper area hiding place? Uh, Can you circle uh, it? At the bridge. Go that, the um, yeah. What's the descriptions of that? Like like a like a like an opening? It's like an area from the bridge, actually. I'll go grab a qu- uh, quick photo because this reminds me of something in my town. So give me a What's a red? Give me a sec. It should be. I've got the photo. Give me a sec. All right. Oh yeah, it's gonna be hard to kind of say it if we need a length of time. Okay, I'm even madder on the wire now. Yeah, sorry about the blurriness. I need to take a bit of photo. I ah. just as I was going to say. So it's like that little rim. Right near the arch. Yeah. Where you can hide. I have. I almost died because of a ladder twice. <laughs> yeah, I'm locked. So that's the only hiding place in the upper area? Yeah, it's sort of rimming around the whole entire area. So it's up to here as well. Over here. And it's, and it's might be unstable. Unstable, sort of. Might be hard uh, to say that. But... No, it's going to potentially be hard to sort of stay up there for any length of time. And of course, you've got these little pillars, which sort of block little areas right here. Like hard by uh, being balanced there? Yeah, it's going to be hard to balance there for any length of time. Like how length of time? How, ma- how long? You don't know. Hmm. I think that would be, be one of those. A minutes, could be a couple hours. I think it was one of those cartoon funny moments where in the middle of the meeting, I even just falls down and gets spotted. <laughs> and I think I'm gonna, yeah, but I don't think I'm going to risk my luck going there. So, which other play, hiding places is there when I make the 22 perception check? So, yeah, you got the little hiding spot here because there's a couple like little items here. Mm-hmm. Uh, you got the bookshelves over here, which potentially try hiding behind the books. You got the top of the shelves, which have like little items on the top of them. Uh, mm. You can try hiding on the chandelier, but it is one of those old, creaky ones. Yeah, probably will fall. Is that like behind the little pillars themselves? Because there's like darkness mm. back here. Like it's fairly dark in this sort of areas here as well. Uh, yeah, darkness towards like very powerful figures. All of them have true sight. <laughs> it won't matter. <laughs> mm, in that case, is there like a like something that I can balance on? I can pick up and put in a put in the top and balance on it to help me balance around here? Um, considering if I just go down here, I will kind of show you a little bit of what the edges look like. So you've got the pillar, like, right here, right? And then you've got, like, this little bridge that goes across here. So if you could potentially find something that goes across here, you can make it a little bit bigger. Hmm. But it's still hard to balance. Yeah. Do you have any items that you could like stab into the wall? I mean, I have a dagger, but I think it's still hard to balance. Then can it will a bedroll help? Yeah, but it will at least help you. Um, I would say a bedroll is a bit too flimsy to really help. It could help hide you, but it might look out of place. Yeah, definitely. I don't think the upper area is a better hiding place, but at the same time. It's also kind of risky, since I can get spotted any time. Will a shield help me balance? Um, I would say a shield would just about hold your weight. You could put it, uh, put it in here, maybe you just sit on it. But of course, there's a occasion that you might accidentally slip over. Uh, yes, mm. yeah, it's a copper uh, table door. Ah, uh, I see. So it's. Just something you saw in your own house, and was like, "Yeah, let's use that." Mm. Yeah, it gave, it gave me an idea of one of those old ones. Fair enough. Then yeah, I. However, if you do go under the table, it's unlikely you're going to. If they do bring out anything visual, you won't be able to see it. Yeah, exactly. And plus, all they need to do is look down. Yeah. Which I'm not going. I think the tiny the places where there's a couple of items you said, like a t- tiny items, a couple of tiny items. I yeah, think like either here or on 
on top of like the dairy pots for the butcher to be potatoes. But the top is hard to balance also, right? No, these are uh, these are a lot thicker, a thicker. However, some of them do contain more jars and stuff, and it is in full view. So, like uh, potentially, they could spot you. Um, and how many chairs are prepared? Um, let me just grab out my notes and just stop streaming. <laughs> and yeah, I'm just gonna grab out my notes. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven chairs. And does the place where the items are? in the right line of sight of if I were so sit in that chair. Is it, is it the right line of sight is in the mm -hmm. in the items, in the down area? Here. So there's like, just about I... the table there. Oh, two, three, four, five. So you've got one chair here and three. And oh, three. okay. So, so, the, so it would not be in direct line of sight if I hide in the items. The small yeah, items, like yeah. These guys would have like a line of sight from around there, but potentially as far as around there. So there could be potentially like an area like that. Mm. You guys can of course see this sort of area. They could spot you either way. Yeah, I think the so the only way is the the only one that doesn't have line of sight is the upper area then, but it's unbalanced. Yes. Uh, give us of a spell. Balance myself. I don't think I do. Is it okay? Uh, I don't think. Can I know? <laughs> what? Ah, uh, no, I don't think I can know that. Mm. What were you going to ask? Um, like, can I know what check do I have to make to balance myself? Uh, no. Yeah. In that case, I don't think I'm going to. No, nah, I'm going to. I'm not going to risk it. I'm just going to hide behind the item behind. La. Uh, yeah, that that one. Wait, right? yeah, that one. The one on the ground. Yes. Or the one up here. Like, up there. What's the problem with the, with up there? Uh there are a couple glass jars. So if uh, if someone uh, someone might get suspicious of the weird reflection. But there is like a little gap between it uh, behind the items. And the problem with the one, the other item is it's in direct line of sight with someone. Yes, it is in direct line of sight. But it is kind of dark. And and how tall is that? Is it enough to like for me to crouch down and completely vanish behind uh, it? Uh, mostly, like there might be like a couple parts of you sticking out potentially. Hmm. Okay then. Then yeah, I'm just going to hide on the down, down area. Down area? I'll have you make a stealth check, please. Okay. Very well. Oh, thank God. It's an 18. What's an 18? Let's actually see what Lux is currently doing. Out <laughs> before we head to you. Because you've got a little bit while waiting. You can easily enough okay. get into that position without alerting the fairies. And Lux, what have you been doing outside? Because you've just been thrown out a window by a massive spider. <laughs> of course, Lux is gone. Sorry, what I miss? Oh uh, yeah, Idens found Idens has found a hiding spot. What have you been doing outside in the meanwhile? Um, how long has it been? Um, let's say you would have enough time for a long rest. It's probably about around just past midday, so it's it's easy. All right, then I definitely would have been doing that after I successfully floated back down to the ground. Oh, and um, DM, well, while waiting for the meeting, can I take a short rest? Sure. Okay. So, yeah, what are you doing outside, Lux? 
Um, I'm gonna look for Alarif and ask, where the fuck? <laughs> I'm not really sure. Uh, go back in. <laughs> Round two. It's still locked. And also, if I go back in there, I'm gonna be spider food. <laughs> God damn it, man. You just got well, kicked out of the greatest story. library. <laughs> oh. um, I don't know. I'm probably just gonna sit down and drink some tea. Yeah, are you, are you in full view of the, of the road? Well, not really road, like the stairs leading up. To... Yeah, I'm just sitting out the front. Wait, no, go hide. Then the, the fucking fa facing thingy will notice it. Okay. I hide. <laughs> I just imagine you're either hiding up in some trees or somebody behind some bushes. Just hiding, wait. Is there any, like, specific area you're gonna try and hide behind? Like, outside? Is... I don't know, I thought this place was just on the clouds, honestly. <laughs> no. It's um, in like the forest, like the middle of the misty forest. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and hide in a bush. Is it? Are you gonna try and hide in the bush that's close to the entrance or far away? Yeah, close to the entrance. I'm trying to. I still want to know when he gets out. Okay. And hmm, do I want to end a little bit early just so that we can see if we can get some everyone else in? For... Up to you. This is I some lore shit. <laughs> yeah, I don't yeah. I want to particularly make sure we've got at least a decent amount of people here. So I think we'll end this early. And what's it's really unfortunate that Alaris didn't show up. <laughs> well, it works out in the end. Guys, what did you guys think of the little. Hey, I almost died! Crazy what? The craziness. Uh, the have another <laughs> feel. <laughs> You're just getting fears left, right, and center there, Lux. <laughs> Every single time he almost dies. <laughs> I know. You're like the crazy like Zeph. Oh, I'm just the guy who doesn't want to die! <laughs> <laughs> and I finally know, I, and I finally looked up what a suggest is. It's one of your uh, um, custom races, I think. Yep. But I don't think it's... The exact same, since I don't remember reading about it can turn into a big spider. Nope. That's a, yep. I've, I've done a monster like this before. It was actually, the last time it was a scorpion against the Chaos Crew. Well, two members of the Chaos Crew as well, so I guess it's I'm always a two-member session when I run one of these. And they were running <laughs> the scorpion. Like, I'm pretty sure... Do you want me to write out the session summary for it? Yeah, sure. Dark Vision... Face walking. Oh, fuck, that's a lot of text. Lineman. It's near session 7 in 8.5. Yeah, basically, the avoiding this deadly scorpion to grab an orb of the entrance of the quest. And yeah, they make a pack fast and just in time nearly dies to poison. But like, the whole thing was that Yasuo had, uh, Yasuo had like his evil quest, which was to get everyone into death saving throws. And as they head to the surface, like Justin Time had nearly died of poison, he got restored and restored from the poison. And Yato comes behind with his sword and stabs him in the back stabs him in the back, nearly killing him and then decides to save him. And they and they made a pact. It was, it was pretty crazy, but we had like an evil character. He did eventually end up resurrecting his brother Yona, who ended up being this boss, but they used the Ring of the Soulless to go back in time and stop the boss from ever becoming a boss by not resurrecting him. Then the the true boss, which was a big bad evil guy, Niska, the dragon, came along and decides to resurrect Yona anyway. Yona ends up on the group side. It, it was chaos, pretty much. I feel like by the time we're done with this campaign, if Lux is still alive, his, his list of fears is going to be like two paragraphs long. <laughs> pages, you mean? My man is gonna be out here collecting trauma. Yeah. Someone's been, yeah. someone's been a little bit of a too big of a fan of League of Legends. Yasuo and Yone. <laughs> I, I, 
Like, damn. <laughs> Fuck. Amos a- 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 had locks and pants in as well. <laughs> and his character oh. is Ionite. Literally his own name. <laughs> no, that's not his own name. That's a golden, like, a Minecraft uh, server. <laughs> oh, you caught that. <laughs> yeah. Um. I can't believe it. You caught it. <laughs> No, but like, it's everything just another character that he wants to play? Like, that's fine, but oh, wow. He had fun. <laughs> yeah? The cast crew hasn't gone back together. We haven't had like a session since because everyone had like broken PCs and everyone was busy because they're, they're now in NCA. And stuff. Fuck, it's an NCA. Yeah, exactly. Uh, uh, next, it's like mega exams to get into university. Ah. Otherwise, you don't get into uni. And they are hard. It's like an excellent student. Yeah, they're, they're pretty hard. So they're oh. preparing for like a test then, essentially. Yeah, and they test to determine if you get scholarships and stuff as well. So they're very important. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, so I they're guess. the ones that see if you go into student debt for the rest of your life. Got it. Yeah. I mean, in like six months, I'm, I'm probably about to have that as well. So I don't know how scholarship will work after then. This man is how old? 14 and he's talking about student debt? Like an adult? Yeah, I Impressive. You can say I have a bit of time, mine's in five years when I have those things, so... I've got a bit of I, I mean, it's not too early, but I... not expected. Mine's in like six months or something. But yeah, I... yeah, I went and added like a whole ton of subclasses so you guys all have access to these now. Uh, are they no, like official they or any so. homebrews? Uh, all official except for the Raven Queen which is Unearthed Arcana. Yeah, well, still kind of official. Yeah. Pretty I'm much. Using it currently for in Lux's campaign. She is playing a familiar. So yeah, Lux- yeah, I don't know if the becoming a familiar part is... First uh, time DMing. Allowed, I am, but... and I have a character who's playing as familiar, and a character who can kill my, who can kill my big bad in one turn. <laughs> Fun. Fun. I would just say no to yeah, that. They said. <laughs> Fun. They said. Like special effects. <laughs> yeah. What kind of character is the? Uh, that's the one that can one shot. I think the familiar idea is yeah, cool. Is I think it's. The character that can kill his boss in one turn. Oh, <laughs> oh that thing! That's a Hexblade Paladin. Oh. That he's oh. that's yeah, that, that, that that makes sense. Yeah, I want you to Hexblade Paladin. It's it's fun for an individual, but it's boring for the rest of the party, and I don't give a fuck. I'm having fun. Thirteen uh, times. Oh, no. Thirteen yeah, I'm, times. I'm playing as a familiar somehow. Doing oh, a hundred damage. Like, all the players are going to see of me as the familiar. I'm never really going to see my actual character. But I've warned him many times. Of course, it's Hexblade Curse plus blah 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 Divine Spite and some Hexblade shit. Yeah, I think. They are oh, yeah, yeah. I, I get the build, like, it's just a bit meh. Where I think it's my... cool if you want to deal damage, but it's kind yeah, of for, un- interesting, in my opinion. For, yeah, yeah, for the, it's, it's a pure damage build, but not much yeah. else. Warned him that if his thing just becomes too broken or too stupid, they that they have that I have planned for them to be fighting a red ancient red dragon. Well, they're not going to be fighting. It's more like they're going to have a red dragon up here. But they uh, may 